Thank you for showing up for me, you guys, to check out me talking about astrology. Thanks for showing up for yourself. I hope you guys get something out of this, because I know I will. Times infinity, man. I'm, I'm so grateful to have this opportunity today. Before we go into it, though, justice is a dish best served cold. Because if it wasn't, it would, it would be just water. Amy and Jordan, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to talk about you guys' birth chart. Today, I'm just going to talk about your Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and Rising. Compatibility-wise. I think you guys are way more inspiring than... I mean, I deserve... I don't deserve so much inspiration. You guys are amazing. And I'm so grateful you guys are around to help motivate me to push myself forward. I don't know what I would be doing if I hadn't met you guys. I damn sure wouldn't be as productive as I am. And I'm doing my best to stay focused on it. But man, it's not easy. But I'm super grateful to have the opportunity. And in me expressing my gratitude. I'm going to do my best to talk about you guys' compatibility. Because when you guys work together, I feel really happy. And I feel really grateful. And I feel really empowered, personally. And it's something that I just... I'm just really happy to be around, man. You guys are amazing. And so... So first... We'll talk about... Your rising signs. Cause I, Amy, your rising is in Virgo. Jordan, yours is in Capricorn. So you come off as a very strong working person, like really strong work ethic. And nothing stops that work ethic, period. Which is very inspiring. Because a lot of people stop when they're working. <laughs> you know? But yeah, uh, so you've developed this, this strength to stay consistent and it's amazing and so empowering. Thank you, thank you. And Amy, your rising is in Virgo. So Virgo breaks everything down to the smallest parts. Each little little grain of, of sand on the ocean gets a special type of engraving on them. Courtesy of Virgo energy. And that's really beautiful. So to see you guys talking, is for me, it's like, so, so Amy usually comes in with something that, that makes a lot of sense. And then it automatically gets expanded on as Jordan speaks. And that's really cool. And you guys, man, it's so cool, man. Oh my God. I'm so grateful you guys gave me an opportunity to talk about this stuff. So both of you guys' sons are in Taurus. Taurus takes their time. So you guys are taking your time. Taurus takes their time, man. Taurus doesn't jump into things willy-nilly like, like you're, you know, not doing something important. Taurus takes their time. And Taurus, chilling with Taurus. I've been waiting to say this. <laughs> but, uh, so Taurus, with Taurus is like wearing a, a jacket, right? That doesn't fit that well. But the longer you wear it, it, it just gets more comfortable and more comfortable. And there's just this momentum that constantly builds on itself. And that's, that's what's going to happen with you guys' relationship. And it just seems perfect, to be honest with you. Because with anything, especially with a school which you guys are running, it takes time to do the next thing. You don't just jump into doing everything. You take your time. That's really cool. And you guys are super inspiring. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. And moon. Moon. Amy, your moon is in Gemini. And Jordan, your moon's in Leo. So Amy, your moon's a little, a little, 
when speaking, when thinking, a little nervous. And it comes off, but it's not really that big of a deal because you always overcome that with this overwhelming confidence. And it's very inspiring. And Jordan, you, you're, you're naturally exuding this prideful energy that has, I know this and I've already known that and this has already been there and blah, blah, blah type of vibe and that's really empowering also. And seeing both of you guys communicate together is beautiful because when you, when, when Jordan, when you say something, it, it gets a spin off of it. There's a spin off of it because, because Gemini stokes Leo energy, right? So we have, we have this Leo energy that's like, okay, yeah, I'm doing a really good job. And then we have this Gemini energy come in and it's like, no, you're doing a great effing job. And it's like, whoa, <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. And then that energy just stays up there and it stays sustained. And that's really cool because that's how things really get done. When you can keep yourself up at that high mental level and you know that you always have everything together when you're doing what you have to do, dude, it's so fun. It's so fun to watch. That's definitely got to be one of my most favorite things about you guys is when, when one is kind of a little bit lower, the other person is like, woo, <laughs> you know, and then the other person's like, oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I am not like that too. I am naturally like that. And then boom, everything just kind of straightens itself out magically, quote unquote magically, right? <clears throat> Mercury's, you guys both have Mercury and Taurus, meaning that there's that whole, take your time to understand each other. It's naturally going to happen and you can't control it. And that's a nice thing to have in a relationship, especially with working. Because there's this sense of, okay, Everything is going to work out. Nothing has gone wrong. Everything is going to work out. And that energy just kind of snowballs. The next day, everything's getting better. Snowballs again. Everything's getting a lot better. Snowballs again. Oh my gosh. You know, it just keeps going and going. And we're in a downhill motion here because that's how snowballs start. So it gets faster. And it's just really beautiful. Amy, your Venus is in Taurus, and Jordan, your Venus is in Cancer. Meaning that, Jordan, you're a little more sensitive when it comes to doing things that you like. And so, there's, there's, a, there's a sense of, get to know me, and then I expand outwards. And then with, with Amy's Taurus Mercury, there's a sense of, I'm comfortable with who I am. And you can tell. And so you guys get along with that energy together because one person understands themselves and the other person resonates off of that. And then there's this, this group understanding that is nurturing. So you guys communicate really well nurturing. And I think that's really cool. And Jordan, your Mars is also in Cancer. And Amy, your Mars is in Taurus. Uh, Jordan, I just really wanted to say that I don't know if you know about Napoleon, but I did do a video on him a little bit ago. And Napoleon was like the type of person that's going to nurture his people. And if people talk shit about him, like he's just going to be all up in their face. Like, dude, this is what I do and blah, blah, blah. Because I had to look up Napoleon syndrome. That's why I did a video on him. But yeah, it's just, it has nothing, it doesn't really have anything to do with his height, in my opinion. It has to do with his, his characteristics. Like, he's a leader, but he's still supporting everyone equally. And that's, that's, that's really rare, and that's really inspiring. Knowing how to help others as you're helping yourself is something that I, I really aspire to. And obviously don't do very well, but I try my best. And Amy, your your Mars is in Taurus. Yeah, so you guys, so so we have a nurturing energy, and then we have this steadfast energy. So the nurturing energy, if 
if uncomfortable, can always rest on the steadfast energy, which is inevitably going to do the same thing. Period. And then there's this determination that comes in and you can feel it. And it's really beautiful. There's this determination with you, Amy, that is really awesome and fun to be around. And it's very exciting. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if, if this is... <laughs> I really want to say this, so I'm going to say it, okay? I know it's silly, silly, whatever. But uh, I was thinking to myself one time when we were in Spirit Circle, I was like, Amy, you kind of put the ghetto in perspective, you know, because you're talking about how, how like you have to do shit, you know, you can't, you can't be afraid and you can't hide and stuff like that. And I just thought that was really cool. I hope I'm not butchering what you said. But I don't remember exactly, but I remember how it made me feel, you know, and so that's what I'm talking from. <laughs> Amy, you're Jupiter's in Leo, Libra, and Jordan, you're Jupiter's in Leo. So Jupiter is a planet of growth and the planet of, okay, so I'm learning about myself, becoming who I am internally, expanding outwards. So Jordan, you're Leo. Jupiter is always confident and has no doubts whatsoever about self. Very cool. And Amy, your Jupiter is in Libra. So you, you have this deliberate, Amy, you have this really deliberate selectiveness about you that really, really shines with this whole Leo energy. Because you're, you're like, okay, shit, what do I choose? How do I choose it? And Leo is like, we always make the right decision. And so you make the right decision. It's inevitable because of the confidence that you have fed to you. So if you have this confidence, then no matter what, the right thing comes out. And there's no, there's no doubt whatsoever. It just happens. It's kind of like being, it's kind of like using a light switch, for example. You're, you're a Libra, so you're the one flipping the light switch. And then the energy that turns the light on is the Leo energy. And so you make this decision, click, and then something happens. And that's it. That's how that works. It's really, really cool and inspiring. So grateful, man. I'm so grateful for you guys. You have no idea. Mm -mm. Last but not least, of course, we have Saturn. Uh, Amy, your Saturn's in Libra. And Jordan, your Saturn is in Aquarius. Libra and Aquarius. Okay. Amy's Libra. Jordan, your Aquarius. So, Amy, your Libra energy, very balanced with, with work ethic, right? And then Jordan's Aquarian energy is very, once again, deliberate. So, it's just in a different kind of way because Aquarius is deliberate about what they know has to happen. And so chilling with Libra, Aquarius is like, okay, I know that we have to do this this way. And Libra is like, okay, I've written out a plan for this to happen in this way. But you guys have to understand that this has to be done this specific way and so on must be specific. Libra must be specific. And Aquarius, it must be intentional. Uh, I really love talking about you guys' birth chart. I would love to talk about your houses. Whenever, whatever. Uh, I just really, I'm really inspired about you guys' birth chart. So like your planets are all really aligned. And that makes me really happy because you guys have such, such commitment. And the commitment that you guys have, it, it embodies with both of you. You guys have this intention that is resonating. And that resonating intention uh, culminated with you guys' confidence in who you are is just amazing. It really is. I have not seen uh, characters like you guys before in my life. And I'm just really grateful for you guys. I can't thank you enough for letting me look at you guys' birth chart. And I hope you guys 
stay blessed, stay blessed, okay? <laughs> stay blessed and definitely, definitely stay blessed. <laughs> and thank you everyone for checking out my, my birth chart description and my two friends. And um, I love you guys. And thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tons infinity.